Hey YouTube, sorry I couldn't go live, but I'm answering your questions now. So, Michael S., hello! You asked about my exercise. So, I am not consistent. And by consistent mean, meaning I'm not following a specific regimen. Um, I'm a very big list person. I like to check things off. Um, I looked at, like to see what I accomplished for the day. And I'm not doing that right now with exercise, and I should be. But what I am doing infrequently um, is kettlebell exercises. Um, I love the kettlebell. So I'll do like kettlebell swings, uh, Russian twists with the kettlebell. I'll do the one where you're in a plank position, and I forget the name of this one. But essentially, you're in a plank position, and then you put warm, one arm up like you're pulling the weight up. Um, I'll do that. I do the lumberjack. I forget the names of all these things, but the lumberjack one. Um, I do squats. I really believe in squats. I do sit-ups in bed, although I hate sit-ups, but I do them. I need to incorporate push-ups because those are really good. Um, and I just bought a jump rope, so I'm looking to incorporate that. But I need to get on a regimen. Now, my son played college football, and years ago when I was much heavier, by that I mean like 120 pounds, um, he gave me a workout with just a towel. And I'm telling you what, that was killer. But I look back at that and I'm like, that may be a perfect thing to incorporate with inside the truck. So I'm going to beg him for that information once again. And not beg him, he'll give it to me, but you know, I have to ask him for it. Vic Reese, interesting leasing questions. And I'm, a, you know, I'm diving a little bit into your mindset just based on how you ask them. So you asked what made me dive head first. Well, immediately I say, I didn't dive in head first. I, I feel like it fell into my lap. I feel like I walked into it. Uh, maybe even skipping. Um, I think it's perfect for me. Uh, how did I choose Prime and why? I did a comparison search over the internet and I remember reviewing a document that talked about the pros and cons between the training schools and the companies that train. Yes, you can come up here. <laughs> and the um, companies that train. And Prime just really stuck out to me. I, did, I hadn't known them previously. And um, so, yeah, so they stuck out to me. And I contacted a recruiter, and we all know what happened from there. Um, let's see. What do I love about trucking? Right now, I love everything. Yep. What do I hate about it? So I was born and raised in Wisconsin. And contrary to being born and raised in Minnesota and living in Minnesota, Minnesota is very passive aggressive. Wisconsin is very grab the bull by the horns and say what's on your mind. So a lot of times, you know, my child rearing stages will come up where I grab the bull by the horns. So what do I hate about it? I hate that old timers continue to tell me that Either I don't have a right to be happy or I can't say that I'm happy because I haven't put in X amount of years. So talk to me in 30 years and tell me you're happy. Why, why do I need to tell you that I'm happy in 30 years? I live in the present, right? I don't live in the past. I don't live in the future. I'm very mindful of the present. That's like saying I can't love a book that I've been reading for three days. I can't love my new nephew that was born because he was two days old. I can't love the new sweater. I can't love Jake because I've only had him for six weeks. Come on. That's what I hate. For, as far as states, what states do I love? Every, I mean, I, I pretty much love everywhere right now. Um... The two states that I have not been to are Washington and Oregon. So, but I, I think I've pretty much covered everything else. What states do I hate? 
I don't really hate states. I find some are a little more boring to drive through than others. But um, I, I guess I'd rather have the challenging states. But yeah, I don't really have an, a good answer for that one yet. And I don't know if I said that, but that was from Vic. Uh, no hippie barbecue and cooking. <laughs> I love the name. Last job. So I'm not a job hopper, right? I've had three management positions in the last 30 years. I was an operations manager in the insurance industry. I was a strategic alliance manager in the HR industry where I was responsible for the sale of intellectual property in HR um, software resale programs. Mouthful, I know. And then lastly, I was a general manager in the manufacturing industry. So always been in management, um, always had direct reports, always been a part of and led strategic planning and initiatives um, and from strategic plans in the tactical planning to profit and loss and then KPI. Um, Casey Malone, is family ever coming out with you? Yes, Chris is coming out with me on Sunday for a couple days. Um, how long have I had Jake? I rescued him while I was at Prime during the upgrade to lease. Would I recommend Prime? Absolutely. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Crystal, thank you. Um, I guess I never would have thought that a truck stop manager would be following truckers on YouTube, but you know, it really makes sense. So I applaud you for that. Um, you could probably learn a lot about the trucker mindset and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so no, no soap since college. And for downtime, it's really cleaning, cooking. I watch a lot of YouTubers. Um, I catch up with um, family and friends and just sort of relax. Um, Rambler, yes, much, much regret. Jake, stop it. Um, dreams are meant to pursue, be pursued, not kept. Um, hey, stop it. Not meant locked away. Uh, Mike G. Mike G. Mike G. Oh, I have so many words for you, but I will leave it at shame on you. I hope that if you have a wife or a daughter, that you are much smarter. So maybe it's a joke. Mike G, shame on you. All right, YouTube, I gotta figure out my live account. Sorry, buds. Where'd that come from? I think it's the wine. <laughs> All right.